some people watched the premiere of Detroit 187, and some people didn't. But even people who did not see it had something to say about it. Morgan, you say you don't hear good things about it? No, not at all. What exactly did you hear? That it shines a bad light on Detroit. I do catch, plan on catching the next episode. I didn't hear the good one was too good, or the first one was too good, but... What would you like to see them do differently in the show? Uh, change the name. I just heard it, it had bad reviews. I didn't see it, though. Do you plan on watching it? I'm going to watch it. I'm going to check it out. I heard some mixed reviews. I heard some good and I heard some bad. Do you plan on watching it? Yes, I'm actually going to go online and watch it. I am Michaela Armstead reporting from Detroit for Youth Neighborhood News, where we bring you the younger side of the news. Detroiters are still talking about Detroit 187, and some have their own opinion on what should have been included in the show. I did not think it was appropriate. Um, it was just like, they, although they showed the city, that was all basically they highlighted of Detroit. Um, my concern is um, with the thought that Detroit is a, a city full of criminals, and it's not. We have very intelligent young people that are going to school, going on to college, becoming doctors, lawyers, and that's not portrayed accurately. So although it did give Detroit some, uh, you know, attention, it was not the positive attention I hope that it will eventually give us. They say that we're the, one of the homicide uh, capitals of the world, which is not true. But that's what it's portraying, and I wish, again, that they would highlight some of the most positive things that's happening here. It takes Detroiters to raise that image. It's the few that makes it bad for the, the many. And the ones who are good, we need to raise our voices and say, this is not us. You plan on still watching it? No. I will be watching Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Wanda Griffin says we need to focus on how to improve the image of Detroit and not focus on murder. I am Dylan Clark reporting in the city of Detroit from Youth Neighborhood News, where we bring you the younger side of the news. Detroit, Michigan, birthplace of Motown and once the heart of the automobile industry. Now, it has one of the highest murder rates in the country. For the men and women of Detroit's homicide unit, every life counts. And every murder tells a story. People, keep on learning. It seems to be a 50-50 split between the people who did and did not like Detroit 187. That's according to the people we asked in the city. I wasn't impressed. Not, I mean, I wasn't impressed by the, uh, the stories, the production. It, it just wasn't impressive. I mean, especially if you compare it to something like The Wire. And I think The Wire is probably the, you know, it set the bar for that type of drama. How do you feel how it did for Detroit's image? I don't think it hurt it one way or another. I mean, we're, we're about at the bottom of the barrel anyway, so. It has good potential. I just think they tried to rush too much in the first episode. It was interesting. I like that it was, they're going to be filming it around here. There's some corny parts where they tried to fit in too many stereotypes with, uh, like, putting in a muscle car in the first episode and Coney Island and the bullet casings, all that stuff. Um, that, I felt, was kind of cheesy. Even those people who did not like it plan on watching it again. I'm Adam J. Taylor reporting from Detroit for Youth Neighborhood News, where we bring you the younger side of the news.